Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Janine Campbell, an art teacher from Michigan. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hello, visual arts teacher from West Michigan, Janine Campbell here, ready to share with you a really fun and interesting way to do printmaking. Uh, for this project, you'll need a Ziploc baggie, a water-based marker, a magazine image, paper, and some watercolor. So this is a really fun way to test your observation skills and a really interesting way to get an abstracted image using materials like a uh, source from a magazine. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a Ziploc bag, a water-based marker, I'm using a Visa V, but you can use really any water-based marker, and an image from a magazine. I'm gonna use this one from a CoverGirl advertisement that I got out of a teen magazine. Once I put the image in the Ziploc bag, I can see the outlines of the face and I can use my water-based marker to start to go over the contour or outline shapes of everything that I see. When you're doing this, if you make a mistake, because it is a wet erase marker, I can erase what I don't like. Um, if I see there are areas that I need to go back over, I can keep working with that back and forth. I can even remove the image to check my work as I go. What's nice about using um, the wet erase marker is that it's very forgiving. And what's nice about using the Ziploc bag is that it's also very forgiving. So keep making those lines and um, remember that your image is going to be a little bit abstract as you go. So it's okay if it doesn't turn out exactly the way that you maybe see in the magazine image to begin with. Once I've made all of the outlines of the magazine image, I can go back in and add additional texture or even colors if I want to. Now it's time for me to actually create the print. So I'm gonna use some mixed media paper. It allows it to accept water a little easier without really bending or folding or anything like that so that my image can be nice and clean when it's ready to go. I'm going to take a piece of wet paper towel and I'm going to put that wet paper towel on top of my paper so that it gets the surface nice and damp. Once I've done that, I'm going to then flip the paper over and have it go on top of the water-based marker. Now because the water-based marker is subjected to water, it'll actually adhere to the paper getting you this really cool abstracted image. After a few hours or once the ink is dry, I grab my watercolor paints, some water, and a paintbrush, and I'm going to apply a wet on wet technique outside of the contour line. I could have left it with just as the print, but I felt like I needed to fill the negative space in a more interesting way. Um, you'll notice that because I'm using wet on wet techniques, the watercolor only goes where the water has been. I'm gonna be using sort of a sepia tone um, along with some black to go along with the marks that I have already made. So when you're choosing what colors you wanna use, you wanna think about the mood of your piece as well as things that you've used before. Now, I'm not just gonna add the watercolor wet on wet. I'm actually gonna use a technique that's going to allow these little sort of spider webs coming off of it through actually moving air onto the canvas. So when I'm using it on the watercolor paper, you can see that I'm going to bend over and start to push air out. Um, you can use a straw to be a little bit more directive with it. Um, and I get all these like really interesting sort of splatter marks um, as a result of the way that I'm pushing air and forcing the watercolor to go. The more water I add, the more fluid the paint is. So you wanna be thoughtful about that. You can also wait for parts of it to dry and add layers. Um, if I wanted to, I could add additional color to it. Um, and so I'm gonna do this. And what I've noticed when I have applied this to my piece is that it actually looks as though the figure is now wearing sort of this furry collared uh, coat that they are kind of putting over themselves. Um, it can add to a narrative or a story uh, and it's really up to you as the artist to decide what way you want to go with it. 
So you want to keep adding on your watercolor until you feel satisfied. I hope you had as much fun as I did with that project. Um, there are so many different applications that you could use this for, and it's a really non-threatening way to get started with printmaking, so I really look forward to seeing what you do with it. Uh, please feel free to tag me on social media using at CampbellArtSoup, either on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to see what you made. Happy creating!